words this music works. The singing in history and musical literacy. Mr. Dorsey's music works. We're living the dream starts here. Hi, and welcome to Mr. Dorsey's Music World third grade music literacy lesson number one. My name is Mr. Dorsey because it would be really weird if this was called Mr. Dorsey's Music World, and my name was Bob Magoo. If you don't know who I am, I've been teaching music for over 20 years, as you can tell by the gray hair in my beard. I've been teaching at the same place in Syracuse, New York, in the Syracuse City School District at Seymour Dual Language Academy. So for my students at Seymour, welcome back. We're going to have a great year no matter how we do it. All right? I hope to see you in person, though, soon. And for those of you joining us on WCNY or YouTube, I hope that what you learn here will help solidify and strengthen what you are learning with your music teacher. Now, what are we going to learn today? Let's find out. Our learning goal is broken down into four parts. Our big idea, or the artistic way, is performing. Our process, which is the steps to get to your goal, is analyze and interpret. Analyze means break something down, figure out what something is. Interpret is, what do you do with that information? Our objective, what are we going to do? I can read and understand half notes and half rests. And our method, how are we going to do it, is performing, listening, and reading notation. At the end of this lesson, you're going to assess yourself or grade yourself about how you're doing. There's three questions you're going to want to ask yourself during this lesson. Number one, can I perform the rhythms correctly? Number two, can I identify the rhythm symbols? And number three, can I explain what the rhythm symbols do? To help us learn about half notes, half rest will come a little bit later, we're going to use the song Rocky Mountain, which is an Appalachian Mountain folk song. Let me sing it for you once. We're going to just learn the first verse and refrain. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. All right, echo after me. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do. Do remember me. Do, 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 do. Do remember me. Okay, let's try it together. Just try your best. One, two, ready and sing. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Next step. We're going to take the lyrics out of the refrain and we're going to add rhythm syllables so we can hear the pattern even clearer. Okay? Now, for those of you who aren't my students, your teacher may use different syllables or they may use numbers. There are many ways to do this. There's no right or wrong answer to this. Okay? This is just the way I do it. Try it the way I do it today. Or if you have a different way that works better for you, go ahead and use that. All right? Here we go. So it's going to go like this. Echo after me. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. 
ta 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 ti ta ti ta Now let's try it together. One, two, ready and sing. Ta 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 ti ta ti ta 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 ti ta ti ta. As I'm sure you've noticed, there was a sound that was a little bit longer. Ta ti ta ti ta. We break that up into beats. It's ta ti ta ti ta. So how many beats was that long sound? Ta. Right, two beats long. That is what the half note is. So the next step is I'm gonna teach you four patterns that have the half note or the note that's going to be two beats long, the sound that's gonna be two beats long, all right? So echo after me. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Now I'm gonna teach you four patterns that contain the sound that is two beats long or what we're gonna read as the half note, okay? I'm gonna tap the beat and I'm gonna say the rhythm and you do the same, you echo after me, okay? Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ta. 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 Okay, in that last rhythm, did I make a sound on the last two beats? Ta. No. That's what's gonna be the half rest, two beats of silence. We'll get to that in just a second. Now that we know what the half note and half rest sound like, let's see what it looks like. But before we can do that, let's take a look at some prior knowledge. Let's put it up on the screen. All right, so our beat is the pulse or heartbeat of music. Rhythm is a pattern of sounds and silence over time. And before we got into the half note and half rest in second grade, we learned about the quarter rest, which is one beat of silence, our quarter note, which is one sound that lasts one beat, and our paired or two eighth notes that are two sounds in one beat. If you are a student in the Syracuse City School District, you are getting a reference sheet that will have this information and more on it. Now, if you happen to not be a student in the Syracuse City School District, that's okay. If you go to my website, mrdorseymusic.weebly.com, I will have the prior knowledge that you need to know up there next to the video lesson. Here's the half note. This is what we use when we wanna show one sound that lasts two beats long. As you notice, there's a note head that tells you there's gonna be a sound and a stem. Let's compare it to something we already know, the quarter note. What do you notice? It's very similar, except the half note's note head is not filled in and the quarter note is. Here is the half rest. This is what we write when we wanna show two beats of silence. Now we already have another symbol for silence, the quarter rest but you would have to write two quarter rests to equal the same thing as a half rest. Here are the four patterns that we learned earlier. If you look at the time signature at the beginning, it says two, four, which means there are two beats in every measure and the quarter note equals the beat. I'm gonna perform each one. While I'm doing that, you watch, and then when you echo back, read the pattern, while you are echoing. Let's make that sight and sound connection to make things easier. Here's number one. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. 
Here's number two. Cha, cha, cha. Here's number three. Ta, ta, ta. And here's number four. Ta. Now let's try them together. Here's number one. One, two, ready and go. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Number two. One, two, ready and go. Ta, ta, ta. Number three. One, two, ready and go. Ta, ta, ti, ta. And number four. One, two, ready and go. Ta. Now for our last activity, let's try them all together without stopping. One, two, ready and go. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ta. Ta. Let's go back to our learning goal. Our big idea was performing. Our process was analyze and interpret. Our objective was I can read and understand half notes and half rests. And our method was performing, listening, and reading notation. Now let's assess or grade ourselves on how we did. I told you there was three questions at the beginning you had to think about. Can I perform the rhythms correctly? Can I identify the rhythm symbol? Can I explain what the rhythm symbols do? If you said yes to all three and you could show someone else how to do this, you're an expert. You're ready for the next challenge. If you answered yes to all three questions, you're a practitioner. Your next step is, can you explain it to someone else? That'll bring you to the next level. If you answered yes to one or two questions, you're an apprentice. Pick one question you answered no to and work on that for next time. And if you're just starting to learn this, which we all are at some point, you're a novice. Ask your teacher for more information. Well, that's it for today, boys and girls. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. Uh, we went pretty quick today, but this is a review to get you ready for new third grade learning. Uh, so until next time, take care. See you soon. Mr. Dorsey's Music World. They're singing in history and musical literacy. Mr. Dorsey's Music World. We're living the dream star tears.